Good evening, this is Cory with the Painted Peacock, and today we are going to paint a raccoon in a tree. I've started by doing a light gray blue on my right side and just a brown wash on my left. Whenever I am using shadows and light, I like to do a medium uh, middle tone, if you would, which I use for the brown. Using that same brown, I add white for my highlights and then using that brown, I add black for my low lights. Using various brush strokes, I'm able to create the simulation of bark. Whenever you have a dark hole, you want to use a little highlight on the edge of that dark hole so that it visually recedes into the background. I have decided to include oak leaves, which are some of my favorite leaves to paint. I am doing the white base because when doing autumn colors, that white base helps them to pop. Using a light gray here, I am blocking out the general shape of my raccoon, adding a little fur and fluff and a little bit of dimension. And that little black mask around its eyes. Whenever you are doing something involving eyes, larger eyes, are more sweet. Smaller eyes are more sinister or more oh, grumpier, I suppose you could say. You just block out those little eyes, a little brown in there. Oh, messed up on those paws a little bit. Again, using those bright colors, yellow, orange, and red. Thankfully, they're next to each other on the color wheel, and so they blend really nicely together. Sometimes I do see fall leaves that still hold on to that green a little bit. When wood, using green and red, you have to be a little bit careful. They are complementary colors, and so when mixed, they make kind of a poo color, which was not the dream. So I added it in places where the red didn't exist. I normally try not to outline pieces in my demo paintings. Uh, but I felt my leaves needed a little something extra right here. Painting my acorns, adding little bottoms to them. I go in and do the eyes of my raccoon, doing a brown iris and then going in with a black pupil. A little highlights, bring it right to life. And here he is. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.